Part three, protein lab, we're looking at Biorex reagent. Biorex reagent contains copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide, right? So the copper two ions will form purple or violet coordination complexes in alkaline or basic solutions. A negative test will remain blue. A positive test will be a really nice violet purple. Let's check it out. So what we'll do is we'll first start with water to take a look at the control group. We have two test tubes of water here. We're gonna add, it says in your lab report, 15 to 18 drops. We're just gonna do a nice squeeze, eyeballing. On your left is your positive test. On your right is your negative test. You can see that it has turned a really light blue color, right? Maybe you can see that color. You can clearly see it that it's different than the negative test. Negative for peptide bonds. Remember, Biorex reagent looks at peptide bonds, which we looked at in part one of this lab. Let's do the next, and that would be albumin. We'll add liberally a couple drops, a squeeze. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh my. Look at that violet, oh yeah. So if it has turned from blue to violet, well, it might have tested positive for peptide bonds. Remember, proteins contain a lot of peptide bonds depending on how many amino acids are in the protein. The bigger the protein, the more amino acids, so the more peptide bonds. We can clearly see that albumin contains peptide bonds. One more, here's your casein. We will add the Biorex reagent. Look at that, isn't that nice? That's lovely. You can clearly see the negative test on your right, right? It just remains that clearish, milkyish yellow color on the left. Oh yeah, look at that purple. That's a really nice violet. Has it tested positive for peptide bonds? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see you in part four.